We had a very important phone call yesterday where we broke some uh, very exciting news to the kids. Hey! Really? You guys, Nacho's actually coming. I was just about to jump on the bike and do a bike ride on the um, Nordic track bike, but I wanted to give you guys a little update on counters because someone was supposed to come and fix the countertops today. They did, they stripped this little spot. You can see it's lighter, just a little bit lighter. It's kind of darkened up actually, which is a little concerning because I don't know. Anyway, you can still tell that there's a lighter spot. He was supposed to come and strip everything to try to make everything the lighter color everywhere and then seal it back up again. But the company, it wasn't the same company that put in the countertops. The company that put in the countertops couldn't fix it. And so they hired another company that specializes in granite repair and they, he came out and he was like, I'm pretty confident that I could fix it. I found a chemical that works. I just, uh, I'll let the owner know that like I can fix it. But now the owner of the original company is saying, well, I'm not gonna pay him to fix it unless you guys sign a paper saying that you're gonna be happy with whatever he does before he does the work. Cause I don't wanna be out more money. And I'm like, that's not how it works. This is not our problem. Like, we paid you half of the money already to put in countertops. You messed up the countertops. We were told by your guys that we need new countertops and that you wouldn't pay for them and that you wouldn't budge and that they were, they couldn't fix them. They didn't have any more to, um, like availability to fix it and they didn't know how to fix it. And then now you're saying that it's our problem, that we have to promise that if you pay more money to fix them, that we're gonna be happy. I'm like, I have no idea. This next company that comes in, he seems confident, but does that mean that he's gonna be able to get them fixed? I don't know. And the last company dripped acetone all over my cabinets. And this is a pretty strong chemical that he's stripping. And we have, you can already see here some damage. Like we have all this wood touching right up against the countertops in three spots here, there. And then is he going to drip? You know what I mean? Like I, I can't sign a paper saying I'm going to be happy with someone's work when they haven't even done it. I, I think it's just ridiculous that he's even demanding that. And he's like, well, I'm not going to let him fix them unless you do it. So at this point, I'm kind of just thinking like we might end up having to just pay this guy ourselves to fix the countertops and then never pay like mine if it's then if it's good then minus that out of what we paid the other guy or just don't pay him and take him to court because it's ridiculous like fix your crap take accountability. You sent people that didn't know how to install these countertops and they messed them up and now you don't want to fix them. That's not our problem. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're at. So he was supposed to come today and then he had to cancel the appointment because the other owner of the company was like, I'm not going to do it unless they sign this paper. And I'm not going to sign that paper because I will not guarantee something. I have no idea how it's going to be the outcome. I'm like, no, it's very possible that you pay him the money. I think it's like one to $2,000 to have him fixed according to this guy. But like you pay him that money and if it's still splotchy and if this line is still there because you ruined it with something else, then I'm not going to be happy still. Like <laughs> My original statement to him before the back splashes went in was you need to put in new countertops. You guys messed them up. And that's what your guys told me. And he was like, no, I'm not giving you new rock. I'm not giving you new rock. Okay, in other news, I have this cute set from Maven Thread on. And I have my pills up here. So what I've been doing every morning, I am done with my Cellcore regimen, like 90-day detox cleanse, whatever pills. 
I have a few of these extra take 30 minutes before you eat stuff because of glucose level, like helps keep your glucose levels st stabilized. But I'm out of all the other pills. Wait, this one too. I have this one also that's like a eat it at breakfast and dinner because those are the ones that I, if I was like out or gone, I just like would forget them. So I still have a few of those so I can continue to take those. But I grabbed some multivitamins that I've had in a cupboard that I was kind of waiting to like use some collagen and stuff like that. And so I've been like replacing my habit of taking pills every morning with like vitamins and um, collagen and stuff like that I just kind of already have that and like a hair and skin and nails one the like Nutrafol and stuff so um I'm now taking those in place of like the cleanse that I was on so I think it's good that I'm in this habit of like taking pills morning and night so that I can make sure I'm getting all my vitamins and I'm gonna go work out I'm gonna take my big old jug of water and go and spin out all of the frustrations of my life. <laughs> hey, he just got my workout done. Frankie opened the garage right at the end of my workout and just rode his squeaky bike out, so I have to go find him. There you are. Why are you going? I was looking for you. Mom, where are you going? Where are you going? You're not supposed to go out front without Mama. I'll go and walk with the Barbie car. How about the squeaky bike we go on a walk? Yeah. Okay. Truck. You gonna go around that truck? Yeah, in the woods. Oh. <laughs> we gotta get some better brakes for your, your sticky bike, huh? What's this? That's a big stink beetle. Yeah. Here's the bread. I was in the shower when it went off, and Frankie knows enough to come in here and push the button that it's, it's like lit up so he like it's easy to know which one to pick pick it was like singing and letting us know like hey your food's done so he just pushed the button and it was like five minutes later i came out and he's like mom the oven was beeping and it was your bread and i turned it off he was so proud of himself and i'm so proud of him because my bread didn't burn it looks perfect that five minutes just crisped it a little bit which is what i would have done anyway so um what are you doing I'm candy. Okay, you're like a little mouse crawling across the countertop and you put the ladder there. I found this on Wayfair and I actually really love it because it's something that I can keep out permanently because it's pretty, but it belongs in the other room. I leave it right here. I think it looks pretty right there. Can I carry you down like a little monkey? Get on my back. Hey, jump on spider monkey. Ooh. <laughs> Do you want to go outside and help me clean up the patio for the new hot tub? Yeah. It's coming in a couple days, you guys. Mommy, but um, the dog broke the fence off. <gasps> you want to see? Those dogs. We need to get a permanent gate up so we can keep our dogs in the yard. This little fence was just to keep the mud out of the house, but then... Now that it's nice outside, we've just been leaving the dogs out all day, but then if they want to come in, like this one, we let her just lay in the cage because they're all muddy and dirty because where her yard needs to get in. So they can choose to sit out on the patio and the covered patio out of the sun, Mommy, which is really nice I out here. Oh, thanks. That's just great. Um, or they can go potty and their food and water's out here, but... At night, they still sleep in their kennel in the house. Step one, we gotta clean up all this dirt and make this area completely empty. I think I'm gonna use this egg chair here maybe. I don't, I don't know, we'll see what we do, but the hot tub will take up the majority of the space. I think it'd be nice to have a little place to sit if you wanna just watch kids in the hot tub. So I think I'll keep that egg chair there, but here we go, let's clean up. I see that there's a leaf blower. <laughs> Might be a little crazy. I don't really want to make dust blow anywhere, so I think I'm just going to sweep it. Okay, that looks much, much better. It's a little bit wet still, but there's no rocks. <laughs> it's 
nice and clean, ready for a hot tub. I'm so excited for the hot tub, you guys. There's nothing better to connect with people, with family, like if you invite friends over and you sit in the hot tub for a few hours chatting, <coughs> it's like the best time ever. It's like you just went on a vacation with your friends, but you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> my gosh, Ender dropped a brand new A1 bottle right on my toe. This thing is heavy. <laughs> it's a whole 6 15 ounces uh, and a glass bottle. It's 15 ounces of liquid plus a glass bottle. It's probably like two pounds. It hurts so bad. The good news is the bottle did not break. My Freaking toe is very cushiony. Thank you for that. The bad news is I am in so much pain I can barely even stand on it. I, I really hope I didn't break my foot. Oh, hello. Checking in here. I almost forgot to tell you guys what happened yesterday. We don't film on Sundays and we had a very important phone call yesterday where we broke some uh, very exciting news to the kids. So I can't believe we I'm just, to vlog about that today until now. I know. I'm like, hello, this is huge. So <laughs> uh, let's go back and watch the clip from the phone call right now. Are you excited to talk to him? You've been talking about him lately, huh? <laughs> do you miss him? Yeah. <laughs> the other day she says, do you remember Nacho? And I'm like, yes, I do. Nacho! <laughs> Freaky! Nacho! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh, oh I see a bridge. Yeah, I know why. I don't know why. Uh, wait. That's not Nacho. <laughs> Bring it. I like your suit. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why is that why is that there? <laughs> oh. tell, tell him how old you are now. I'm three now. Frankie, you're so old. <laughs> I've been watching the videos and Frankie talks a lot now. He yeah. he talks a, too much. He talks all Frankie, the time. Frankie, do you remember me? Do you remember Nacho? Yeah. And not to <laughs> say something. What? Um, in the rental, you were in the rental yesterday. In the rental. <laughs> yeah, you came to the rental. He, he calls the old house we lived in for a little bit. Oh, yeah. The rental, yeah. he calls it, yeah. Hey, that's in your house, right? Daisy. Hey. Hi, Daisy. Hi. <laughs> Nacho, when are you coming to visit? Hold on. In July, right? Yeah. You wanna go? Wait, really? Yeah. Yes. Really? You guys, Nacho's actually coming. Really? Yes, yeah, Nacho's coming to visit. In July. What? Yeah. How many days he says? How much days is that? <laughs> Good. Did you know he was coming, Zay? I did. Wait, you said two weeks. You guys, Nacho's coming in July. Is that? Uh, like Powell with us? No, he'll miss like that. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I have a busy summer. Hi. I'm excited. Hi. Hey. Wait, for how long? Hola. Uh, how long are you staying? Two, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. So nice. we're so excited. I That's almost awesome. told the kids on accident because I was like, oh, I need to send this this coat for Paola home with Nacho. And then Davey, all the kids oh. were like, what? And Davey's like, <laughs> <laughs> So it was, I guess, for price for now? Because I didn't know. Right yeah, now, I wanted to. Okay, okay. Yeah, we wanted to. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to yeah, I'm excited people. to see you guys. You guys, yeah. what do you want to do with Nacho? Yeah. Um, you have to plan something. Like you? Okay. Yeah. 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 See? Yeah. I'm not in October. We don't understand, well. What? I get. I go here. He said, "Corn bellies is open in October." Oh, I uh -huh. I know. I know, Frankie. Yeah, he knows. We can do a broom broom race. Yeah. We need to do the race. 
a Broom Broom race. And I don't have a pumpkin birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so we can go like to Lagoon. What else? What do you want to do while you're here? Do you want to have us um call your friends and have them come up and? Have yeah, I told some friends I may yeah. visit and they were excited too. So okay. yeah, I can call them. We can, yeah, we can have a party and have them all come over, have a dance party or something. I think that would be fun. I want to play yeah. chess. Oh, I, I didn't play chess for a long. Can I but I think I think I can beat you, Daisy. Gone. <laughs> Daisy hasn't been playing very much since you left. Daisy, yeah. Daisy's not very. Good. I, I didn't play at all. I didn't play. Who likes to play nacho? Well, yeah, because I win. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zayn's actually really good now, though. I did. I have sort of played. I didn't play that chess. Yeah, like, I think I didn't play, like, even once. You just don't get once a day. Zayn plays it a lot. You better start practicing. Yeah. How but I remember, I remember. Are you playing soccer? Uh, yes, some weekends with my friends. Like, this year I didn't do nothing. Like, just some soccer. That, that's all. I'm, are, are I'm you very good at soccer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> are you sad about that? Well, what? Are you sad? Like, not really. Eh? Mm, a little bit. But I like, I miss soccer, but like, it's okay. Okay. That's also, good. like, I like tomorrow I have my last exam, and then this Tuesday I graduate. So, yeah. And then I have like a party with my friends. So, yeah. No, like, no. This Tuesday I think it's cool. You're done? Wow. Yeah. That's so exciting. Are you I know, going I know. To college? Well, then I have like a big exam that is like one month later. Like, but then yes, I just, I just, I just finished like school. We'll let you guys go. It was good catching up with you. And we are so excited. I'm glad the secret's out that you're coming. Now and... we can talk about it all the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Also. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. I'm excited too, guys. What? Yay! Nacho's coming to stay with us. I'm so excited. Oh you man, guys, we we have kind of been summer. we have kind of been brewing it up for a little while, but that was the first time the kids heard about it, and it was I funny. It so much. Zaid opened up the phone call with, "When are you coming to visit us?" And Nacho's like, "In July." Like he, we didn't tell Nacho a plan. We didn't really make a plan. <laughs> He's all, "Oh, did Zaid know about that?" I was like, "No." I was like, "That was the first. That was it. We were they gonna. I was gonna let to come it come so out bad. on the phone call, so or on the, the yeah. Zoom we call. didn't tell Nacho to keep it a secret, but we didn't tell the kids, so we yeah. thought we figured it would come. It up worked on the out phone perfect. Call. Oh yeah, yeah, it was so great. <laughs> but it was really funny. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, Nacho's coming. Unfortunately, he won't be here for like pal trip, but we yeah, are so excited Susie's to see him. Yeah, and super busy, and so I'm. I think it's good just to have one though, because they were both together the whole time. So it'll be kind of fun to have just yeah. Hopefully, one Susie at a time. can come another time, yeah. and we are prepping things for Alice, like. It's just fun welcoming these people from all over the world into our home, and they, yes. they just become family after that. So. And my toe is not broken. I can still move it. You want to vlog my toe? Oh, there's a few people on the internet that would like to see <laughs> Look at the piggies. booze there and there. Hmm. It's <laughs> really bad. This little piggy went to the hospital. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.